know, it just kind of happened. And I was like, yeah, Rick, that's me. I, I mean, I'm 100% embrace it. You know, I was very close to my name in my locker. I was very close to grabbing a Sharpie and just crossing off Ryan and just starring Rick. Rick Bates is back. He was at risk of returning back into Ryan Bates because if he yes. if he went to the Bears, he was going to be back to Ryan Bates. But Correct. since the Bills matched the deal, Rick Bates is back. Um, this was, you know, a lot of anxiety. We were even talking pre-show. I think a lot of fans had already almost reserved themselves to the it fact that, that he way. was going to be gone and that they were already planning on which draft pick we needed or which other veteran free agent we needed to pursue. And then with the delay... I guess I had built it up in my head that it had to be kind of an ugly offer because Ryan Poles is no dummy. Um, the idea that we were going to be able to match it was getting tough because mm -hmm. I just assumed it was going to be a nasty, some kind not poison pill, you can't do that anymore, but like some ugly front-loaded deal. So then when they matched it, I was like, oh man, I wonder how bad this is. When the details started to come out, four years for seventeen million, you know, four million and change a year. It averages four point two five, and maybe four point four in the first two years. And the first two years are guaranteed. It it's really nice. Like it's not a huge expenditure. Um, it, it's you know, it's John Feliciano money. We're paying right. him John Feliciano money. That's perfectly fine. So if we end up taking some stud guard in the draft that beats him out. God bless him. We now have a guy that's a valuable, versatile backup at all five spots. And if he's, you know, he's going to get the first shot to start at right guard or, or maybe left guard, we'll see. Um, I think it's really interesting. So my level of anxiety was probably not as high as some. I, I'm torn on Bates because I like him. I, I think that he was better than John Feliciano at that guard position. He did help secure that line for that final five game stretch. Um, and we talked about this a little bit offline too, that uh, this idea that people are getting to the point where, oh, you could just draft his replacement. And your point is, you know, those pro scouts, when you have at least five games, it's so much more valuable than no games, right? Like, right. Uh, yeah, it, projecting it, a draft prospect versus having six games of actual starting film is a light year's well, Yeah, so valuable. you know, even though we're not sure if that small sample size is who he is going forward, you at least know the level that he can perform to in the NFL and that you've seen it at an NFL level against NFL defender. So that's good. But yeah, so I'm excited in the, in the sense that I do think the offensive line has improved from where we saw it mid to early season last year. 